Well, welcome back. Um, this uh, little short video is how I'm uh, running this little itty bitty stepper motor that came out of a, uh, uh, I believe it came out of a, a printer, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, it is a bipolar uh, stepper motor. Um, I got one of these uh, TB6600. Um, it's a neat little uh, driver for these stepper motors. Uh, this one could go up to four amps, and um, I just set it down to its lowest setting, which is one half of an amp, uh, to run this little itty bitty motor. Um, I have a pulse generator here, um, neat little board. Uh, I think the combination of these two boards, uh, the TB6600 and this little uh, pulse uh, generator, I think they, uh, geez, I think it was less than $30. Uh, the motor was free. Um, I uh, had to use a bridge rectifier here. Um, if you had to buy one, it probably less than three dollars or so. Um, this is a, um, a 24 volt uh, transformer. I got 240 volts feeding it just because it's convenient. But uh, you could uh, uh, run this one off of 100, oh, 480 volts. I'm sorry. Uh, would be the other choice on this one. I guess I have to run it off of 240. Um, and I just uh, use a little molar cut off uh, just for safety and all that good stuff. Um, enough of blabbing, but uh, let's hear this thing run. This is really cool. Starts off at a relatively low pace. You could instantly reverse the speed. And uh, I'll turn this thing up slow so you guys can hear it. We're probably about three or 4,000 RPMs right there. Uh, could be up in the five or six thousand RPM range there. I hate to think what that is. It's probably got to be in the eight thousand range. And this is where it starts getting crazy. And that's about as fast of a sustained speed as you can get because then it slips. <laughs> and then you got to turn it all the way down to get back in a good frequency range, but it's kind of fun to mess with. Listen to this thing on. I wish I had an RPM meter to uh, gauge that against what that thing is. I don't know. Well, enough of my antics. Thanks for watching. <laughs>